Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Scarbrand playthrough where things are finally beginning to go well. If you remember from last session, we uh, finally pulled back after having after struggling for quite a while. And we are now at war with um with Mr Mr. Names, uh with um uh Setra V lots of names. Um um, yeah, but no, we're in a good position. We are beginning to push back now. Um, yeah, that's that, That's what I need to say. I'm kind of losing what I'm saying there a bit. Um, just so you are aware, though, guys, as well. Yeah, let's grab that one. Uh, I've got a horrible cough for the moment, so you may well hear me coughing a bit. And if I sound a bit on, off, that's probably why I'm just blah at the moment so oh i see lots and lots and lots of tomb kings oh oh bugger so that thing about me doing well may be about to change that said um i mean it's not like i'm a faction which can which needs to sit forwards i can happily dig in and well, no, I can happily fight a war of attrition if needs be. Go smash here. Um, hmm. Sack it. Drop into raiding stance. Obey okay, what do we want? <clears throat> uh, buff the skull crushers when we get them. Let's have a look at the other ones though. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not what I've got them yet. <laughs> Minus 40 diplomatic relation with all things, plus 15 weapon strength for all things. All oh, replenishment rate though, that's lovely. Blood host guaranteed chance of receiving. Yes. Seek victims. Wait. Don't think it'll work, but it gives us a chance of getting some ambushiness off, which is always good. So I think Scarbrand is going to be heading back towards Kemri to fight a few fights. Decline attack. Not necessarily great for us, but you know. It's fine, honestly. I don't care about losing Camry. That's the beauty about playing this faction. We're still creating skulls. It's still not bad for us. They are now sitting in a region full of corruption. We've already battered Camry, so Camry is already a shell of its former self. If I'm honest, I'm tempted to just leave them and go deal with the other Tomb King faction for, so, for the time being. <clears throat> or even potentially start building a secondary force. So I could just head up there and start ripping through them. I crave bloodshed. Replenish our brutal energies. Mm. I think getting somebody out. Even if I'm not going to get much, will do much with them, it's good. And there you go, we can start recruiting some high value units, which we will probably move into my main force long run. So he's just. Uh, while it's not ideal, he's just adding to my defences, because obviously we're using Scarbrand's, uh, to, uh, balance it out, which is giving us huge buffs to all our regions. And once he's big enough, he'll either come and join Scarbrand, or he'll go fight himself. Thing is, we don't even necessarily have to take Camry. I can just raid around their territory until we get a rev until we get a rebellion. Come 
Come on, say hello. Not sure I can take it. Though the garrison's probably not huge still. We will see what we shall see. So I do want to start keep building up because once we get good defenses as well, core knight defenses are beautiful. Oh, they're running away from me. Oh, that is perfect. That's some pretty music. Wasn't expecting that. Really? Do I occupy it or do I just make enough blood host at this point? I need to occupy it. Because uh, I want the replenishment from being in here. I do also want to get to lightning strike because that will be really solid for me. Oh, let's up my corruption a bit. <clears throat> Don't need that just now. I love these. They are so good. All the physical resistance ones to start with. <clears throat> So we are going to press forward with Scarbrand soon. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I thought they were going to put two armies outside. Okay, I'm I'm not, I reckon I can deal with that. <clears throat> King Rawa, Rara, is going to get a, a, his butt kicked, to be fair. Oh, I say that. I'm in trouble. We are going to rush down with some reinforcements. Um, mm, damn. I fucked up. Again. I ain't not yet. End of the world. Even if I do lose the settlement, it's not terrible. <coughs> Sorry. I prefer not to for obvious reasons, but if we do, we do. Don't want to spend money just now. Next turn, I'm going to throw those guys into there, move them up, and we will uh, attempt to fight. If we can, to fight our way out. Damn. Okay, we are fighting this one then. <clears throat> If I lose, I lose. So be it. Um, we'll fall back. We'll replenish. We'll come back with exalted bloodthirsters. We will have increased the size of the pile of skulls, which is always useful. We will see how they set up outside. That's a fairly nasty army they've got straight away. Goddamn cheating AI. I am wondering if I should have fought them out, but... It's the Yushabti are probably the most worrying things there. Okay. I mean, part of me is tempted just to defend here, but I, I need to at least do some, try and do some stuff on the wall. Here. Again, the tower's positioning is just a bit crap. You guys are going to charge out and just get in the way because you are basically pointless. Oh, no! 
You guys can start over here. Your entire purpose is going to be dealing with their uh, ranged. No, I want these guys down here just in case. <laughs> You can assist here if needs be. Okay. Let's target that one because it's closer and easier to actually target. Again, I wish you could actually target the item because you don't seem to be able to, you used to be able to definitely target it, but nowadays you just seem to target the um, unit, which is really annoying. God damn. Bollocks. Well, we were meant to have them all against there, but too late. Murder that unit, please. I'm not actually too worried here. Basically just using these guys to slow them up as much as possible. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys can be fair. Hitting the walls, so we may as well get everything off the walls. <clears throat> Stop taking ranged fire, basically. Oh, yeah, can I break them as soon as they get too close by making them rampage? <laughs> you guys can actually break and charge into the rear here, please, now. Break off, even. So what happens if I make them rampage? Ah, oh, it doesn't work. Follow the blood. Yes. Well, uh, we didn't take them out. <clears throat> so be it. Blood for the blood god. Come on. <coughs> Here comes the chariots. Take out Rawa. Ra Ra. Come on! Kill all these horrible skeletons! Again, the unbreakingness of the enemy here is gonna be one of the problems. <clears throat> that said, we are doing good damage to Rara. Rest of you guys get in. Boss man, stay on Rara. I know he's not called Rara, but I am calling him Rara uh, because it's funny. Kill Rara! 
Rara is disintegrating, which would be great for the morale. Just pulling these guys back a little bit. How are we doing up here? Yes! Boss man, you are a beaut! Right, let's just fold everything in here. Kill those Yushabti first. Skulls for the smoking skull throne. And we are breaking this flank quite nicely. Scarbrand has gone eight. You guys, start heading this way full speed. Come on! <clears throat> I'm still not sure we're going to win, but it's definitely not going to be a decisive smegging defeat. Followers of chaos, you know what, they need to still need it here. They're not going to get there Master. quick enough to make a difference. Onto that unit of Yushabti, we are doing a lot of damage to them there. There we go, that one's breaking. <clears throat> you know what, yeah, I am going to start bringing these guys over here, because even if it, they're late to the party, it may well still help. I am rampaging, but I'm buffing myself. <clears throat> the of blood. Kill that unit of you shab. Finish off that unit of you shab. T. We are doing really well here, actually. Oh yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm forgetting things, aren't I? Oh, we're, we're not in range of any goddamn towers I can build. Ooh. Maybe? Wait, what? Something snuck in. I mean, there's no way we can disengage, so... I say that! <clears throat> Actually, I could quite easily disengage here, up into, up to here. the middle. <clears throat> Pause. Uh, yeah, let's let's get all my points back. <clears throat> Gonna leave that one going up. Yeah, we are pulling all these guys back right to the center. <coughs> God damn.
We held though for a long time. <clears throat> Their chariots are a real danger now. Making missile chariots as well, just to be an absolute pain in the ass. It's fine, you want to charge in, I will fight you. Because your chariots, you are not really designed for this. Beautiful skulls for Skull Throne. <clears throat> okay, every turn and fight them there. We're going to end up fighting the whole thing here, unfortunately, no matter what I do. I said it's not necessarily the end of the world. It's the end of the world. We've lost. We are crumbling. No! <clears throat> But what was meant to be a decisive defeat there. I was not expecting him to pop so many armies. I definitely overextended there. But so be it. We shattered that army. I mean, most of that army is dead. So they're not in a position where they can push. We're going to fall my other force back and start re-recruiting. And we're going to re-recruit bigger and better and exalted bloodletters. Who have even better stats. I feel that bloodletters have been nerfed a bit. The exalted bloodletters used to be one of the most OP things in the game, and I feel they've been nerfed a bit, but I'm not sure. Have they, guys? Let me know in the comments. Sacred Executioner! Hmm. I mean, obviously, they get that as well, which is lovely. It wants to get more than 80 kills, admittedly. Passive ability. Oh, that's their disintegrate. <coughs> Sorry. No offense, I want to get back into a city before I do anything else. extra recruitment capacity and we are going to fall back into here. that way. Right. Replenish rate. I tell us that while this other thing is good, I also don't want to piss off every faction on the map just yet, because I'm already struggling a bit. <clears throat> and if I piss off every faction... Ah, being at war with the world is not the best idea. <clears throat> Slaughter! It shall be! Join Legion! Damn, 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 my 
recruitment's not fast. They're, they're too oh, smegging expensive oh, being the problem. What is my garrison here like? It's probably not big enough to risk doing that. Soon, we will replenish and we will go on the offensive and we will kick their smegging butts. He says, hoping he doesn't have to retreat to Death Gorge at full speed, crying. Sacred Executioner! And we are going to get a, a, probably a front line of Chaos Warriors as well. Uh, just to take melee attacks. I'm so tempted to do that. I think you've got to be out of assessment though. <clears throat> I could always do that. Not yet. <clears throat> we will do that if we're about to be in a fight. Oh, you see, they're fighting as well, which gives me a bit of a reprieve. I'm just waiting for here to fall, because it will. Ah, useful. Replacement, the first son of Blood Gorka. I mean, you can always get um, cultists, which are just crap. I honestly don't get the point of cultists, of course. For armies. How long until I can replace Khan with the boss man? One more turn. <coughs> Don't want to go too nuts on spending money. Because again, our most biggest income should be from expansion, but we're in a bit of trouble. So, we may have to push out before we're fully built up. Or we may just roll, get some blood hosts are rolling. Slaughter! So I'm tempted to do that for the income it would potentially give me. I mean, we are still making money at the moment. While these units are more expensive, you know, they are still very solid units. Look at all this blood coming up through the ground beautifully. I wonder if they thought they went towards me and did nothing. One more from here. More fury for Korn's forces. Really? I already can't afford them. That's kind of depressing. Hmm. I mean, these do all... Again, my economy is meant to be from me pushing, so we will probably start pushing again soon, even if it's with a slightly smaller army. Uh, we're going to step out of the settlement next turn as well and ha have a fight uh, just to uh, get myself some cash. Ooh. I actually want the experience. We've got enough skulls for, for now. I 
want the money. That was all about the money. <clears throat> so 900. They are expensive. That's the problem. <coughs> so we're at 13. Ooh. I mean, it's tempting, but they are seriously expensive. Whereas these guys are cheaper. <coughs> which means I can get more of them. That's 600. And some marauders in as well, just to top me up. Not ideal, but it'll do for the time being. And lightning strike will be very useful, but also I might do some of the upkeep productions. Hey, one day we'll actually get one of these guys to be immortal. Maybe. <clears throat> Soon we will drive forth and destroy the horrible Gemrian forces. I gotta say, I can see that in, in the assessment. If it means blood. Oh. Exhausted hero of corn. Someone's getting strangled. I can't actually afford the, the cost for them Those after recruiting him. Let's hope he's more useful. Blood. Move. Not yet. Making victims. A pause before butchery. Mm. No, the walls. <coughs> Getting my defenses solid is always really solid. Sorry about the cough, guys. Um. Yeah, and we will start pushing back now. Finally, start pushing back. <laughs> the question is, do I actually want to go this way? Anyway, we're going to think about that for next time, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying it. And pop a comment down below, guys. I've got things need naming, you know. A blood reaper which will die. And now an exalted hero which will die. <laughs> so please let me know what you would like them to be called. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons. Monster Bound. Philip F. Knows knows who I finally remembered to add. Unnamed. Space Ace 475. Coding Monster. Jason Air, And Jared Horn. And thank you to everyone for watching. Cheers all.